So this is the Fully Challenge Cup for junior boys, quadruple skulls. We've seen some great races in this today, and I'm sure this will be another one. The holders from Windsor Boys School are on the left of your picture, on the right of your picture, another local school from Sir, Billy, Sir William Borley's Grammar School over in Marlow. And uh, steering leaves a little bit to be desired at the first part of the race. I'm joined by Adrian Cassidy, my former crewmate, coach, and uh, general cognizante about all things rowing. Hi Martin, good to hear from you, thanks for that. Yeah, really, Windsor Boys, quite close to the boys there, but got very commanding one length lead, really just before the boom started. Borlase, slightly in the middle, still sculling very nicely there, but they're not going to have to make sure they stay on terms. What do you say to a, a school like William Borlase, that a really, really strong sculling school, you know, they've won this event, I think, in 2014 and 2015, if memory serves, if they're up against a crew like Windsor Boys? I think... You can't kid them, can you? If you think, you, you, they probably know, they race each other at national schools, they know the difference in speed. You just have to go have a go, don't you? I mean, we've seen crews have mishaps this week. So that's always a possibility. So you need to put yourself in a position that if the other crew makes a mistake, you can capitalize. But they, they have to go out hard, row their best race, feel that when they finish the race, they've done their best effort. And here, they're not moving away anymore, Windsor boys, by the looks of it, as they transition. They're going really well along those booms on the far side, Windsor boys, aren't they? I think, you know, Borlays have sorted out their steering. They're sort of, you know, towards the centre of the course, but Windsor boys have got a lovely line. I guess the water might be a little flatter over there, do you reckon? I think uh, off the first bit of the course has been a bit easier on the Berkshire station. Um, and I guess just, like you said, they've got a very straight line there and they're into their rhythm and they're not under pressure anymore, are they? So we're now live with this race on the right-hand side of your picture it is the boys from Windsor Boys School and Sir William Borlase on the left of your picture Windsor Boys led out from the start and now look in a commanding let's take a close-up look at them Attica Shute whose brother was in the boat last year that uh, won well there were two Windsor Boys boats in the final last year Windsor Boys A Windsor Boys B Joe Wellington behind him Jack Cadwallader and James Harlow just see a little bit of him up in the bows. Look across there from Attica shoot. Don't think he needs to be concerned too much. Yeah, they're sculling nicely here at the Windsor boys, aren't they? The blade work is so uniform and consistent. And you can see, really see through that middle of the stroke as the legs finish, bodies are open. They really generate a good bit of handle speed and that brings the boat through the water. Yeah, it's a nice send off to finish in that Windsor boys school. You can really hear that sort of swoosh as they go Pass Foley. I really like watching them skull. Credit to their coach, Mark Wilkinson. Fantastic job. So, we're watching the Foley Challenge Cup for Junior Boys Quads. On the right of your picture, it's the four men from Windsor Boys School, four young men from Windsor Boys School. They have led from, I think, the first few strokes against their opponent, Sir William Borley's Grammar School, and they are on the left of your picture. Windsor boys look to be going away stroke by stroke, eh? They really do. They seem to have some quite easy speed. I mean, you'd have thought by now they might be backing off a little bit, but it looks like they're just keeping that momentum up and running. You know what it's like sometimes. If you drop the rate a bit too low when you're far ahead, it can get very heavy. So it's almost easier to keep the rate above 30 and maybe back off the pressure instead of trying to keep pulling hard and getting heavier and lower and lower. But the boys here really are just totally in control of this really simple horizontal sculling. You're listening to the voice of Adrian Casti, British team rower, coach of international teams. It's and really, I'm really riding across. Up. It's really Great rough Great to be there. with you here at Henley. Yeah, it is a little rough out there. I was saying to Kath Bishop in a previous commentary slot, it felt a bit like a winter's day. Yeah, it did look like that. Grey clouds just having to battle through the splashing wave everywhere. And Borlais here still not letting up, are they? But they, you said they've taken more of the middle station as they go down here. Let's hope that swan doesn't get in the way. So there's a look at Windsor Borlais. Ed Ridley, the 18-year-old stroke in the boat. Sam Furley back behind him. He's just 17. I think he'll have another year 
at uh, his, his, his brother Ben Furley raced at Henley in 2019 and 2021 for Borlay. So uh, really runs in the family. And what a great shot that is. The church in the background, the stewards enclosure on the left, the progress boards on the right and the two crews in the centre going flat out, Adrian. Yeah, absolutely fabulous there on both the crews going down there. You can even see, gives you a sense of the little water dots on the camera, gives you a sense of what kind of environment they're training in down there. And Borlase here came fourth at National Schools Regatta. Kind of shows you the caliber of the Windsor Boys School here. And they managed to do this, managed to win in this kind of style. But the Borlase boys still keeping their form together, sculling nicely even under pressure there. Windsor Boys School, such a strong unit. Uh, I did hear from Tom Morgan, our co-commentator, yesterday. He fancies Leander A to beat Windsor Boys in this uh, competition. Well, the National Schools this year, when, uh, Windsor Boys just beat Leander, and I think that was a bit of a surprise. They had one of their best rows just to make that possible. So I think it's going to be one. I mean, I would, I would have put your money on that bet, but I wouldn't put my own money on it. Well, if that's the case, Windsor boys, if they do win this race, will be earning themselves a right to race either Leander A or Hereford. Um, the money's on Leander A. I know the favourites haven't always won, but that'll be a great match-up for Saturday. Yeah. As we see, Attica shoot look round at the finish there. I look ahead, and they've got a couple of hundred metres left, Adrian. Yeah, now they're starting to look a little bit more within themselves, aren't they? They're just letting the boat do a bit more of the work. Still rowing, just going nice and long. Just working their way down these stewards and clergy here as they come past the progress board, probably 10, 12 strokes to go. So, so we can see Borlase coming through the camera positions there. We've now pulling out to the finish, and we're seeing Windsor boys progress relatively untroubled, I'd say, at these latter stages of the race to earn themselves a place in Saturday and a semi-final. Fantastic for them. Well, Skull, Borlase crossing the line now. So, Windsor Boys School beat Sir William Borlase Grammar School in a heat of the Fawley.